So, Ian, tell Hi. me about the 12 steps. Well, the, the 12 step program uh, is uh, for the Inalphabetic Anonymous group. Was what inspired. is Inalphabetic? I saw it on the Inalphabetic is uh, illiterate. Okay. It's another word for in illiterate. I never heard it before. Yeah, well, it's um, it's a uh, a movement that's growing. People are beginning to resent the literacy that was made compulsory, that was forced upon them when they were children, and uh, and they're they're rejecting literacy. They re realize that uh, the written word the power of the written word over them to shape their thinking, to manipulate them, is quite sinister. Somehow this is reminding me of the lost record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. It's a red line that continues, right? <laughs> exactly. But anyway, yeah, so this is just a way to, you know, for people to help one another to gain power over their lives so they're no longer bullied by these word weapons that are utilized by the ruling class through the media, through text messages, through memes, through billboards, through t-shirts with slogans emblazoned on them, bumper stickers. All the manipulation we, we you know, deal with every single day. And you wrote a book. Uh, yeah, the, the book is um, called Against the Written Word, and it's uh, the first anti-literacy book, and it's the book to end all books. It's the last book you'll ever need to read. Once you read it, that's it. It's like the last uh, lost record, huh? Yeah, exactly, yes. <laughs> so you have a music group also? It's called Escapism. Mm -hmm. How long has that been around? Six years, seven. Mm -hmm. It's been together for a long time. So did everything We're started. Tonight. This you're playing here tonight. And we're playing at Serpent of Plume. Oh at right, I read that. Yeah. yeah. So did uh, directing a film? You wrote the film too, no? I did. Yeah, I did. I made it with Alexandra Cabral. She and I produced, directed, and wrote it. I basically did most of the writing. She was more of the. She focused more on the art and you know the art direction the look of it and uh but we both collaborated on every aspect of it and uh yeah and we're very proud of it and we're really happy uh, that you agreed to show it and we want to thank you people loved much. it they oh, really good. really there were really strong reactions to it and you know um yeah i mean the lost record the lost soul whatever and the the um, the whole concept of the film plus the styling did you ever see dim dum dum did you ever hear of it no. you should look at it it's something from the 60s it's very like pop style it reminded me the look a bit oh cool no it was i i think it was great thank you so it much it was really great and thank you for having us screen it in Paris. Well, thank you. Thanks for giving us that launch pad for it. It's really cool to have a proper proper screening at a groovy event. So thanks so much. I might ask you again if the festival moves to somewhere else to see if yeah. we could screen it. There's more people who want to see the movie. It's definitely a real appetite for it because we have withheld it from the internet. We only want to show it in person right now. We want to have events around it, so I think it would be, it's absolutely a great idea to show it again. And where are you based? In I, LA? In Los Angeles. Yeah. Both of you? Yes. Great. How do you know Jason? Uh, Jason? Um, yeah. Am I mispronouncing I just know, his name? I am through uh, Kelly. Um, so Kelly is the one who brought me here from 1909 book. Bookstore? Okay. Yeah. His girlfriend. Yes. Okay. Yes, exactly. So, thank you.